Hey there, pretty friends. This is Allison Wheeler. I wanted to come on today and make a quick video about using the luminescent sliders here in Lightroom. I've answered a ton of questions, it seems, lately about um, how to get rid of noise in your images. If you had to shoot at a high ISO or your camera um, doesn't do well in low light situations and you have all of this digital noise in your images and you don't know how to reduce that. Well, I am here to tell you that some of the very, very, very best tools I've come across to do so is actually just right here in Lightroom in these little sliders right here in the noise reduction um, segment of your develop panel. So um, all you do is in your develop panel, um, just scroll on down. It's right underneath the sharpening. It's the noise reduction. So to go ahead and show you how I um, use these, last night I took a couple sample in images, excuse me, at um, of my little boy sleeping with just the tiniest bit of light coming through and I was at a very high ISO. You could see um, I was shooting with my Mark III, um, which does pretty well in low light situations. Um, so this was at 8,000 ISO, and you can see zoomed out, you know, you can kind of see a little bit, but once you zoom in, you really start to see that noise. You know, there's two types of noise. There's the luminescence, luminance, sorry, luminance uh, noise, which are just that, uh, kind of like uh, grain you might see in film. It's like the speckles. Um, and then there's also color noise, which are all these little yucky color flecks in your images. So to get rid of that, um, I always just work top down and I just start with the luminance slider. I just move this one a little bit. This one over does kind of the overall, um, that noise, that almost grainy. Um, feeling the detail if you're all the way over here on the left that means it's going to treat your whole image like it has noise but if you wanted to preserve some details you would bring it over here more towards the right side and you can see as you move it over more of that noise starts to come back so sometimes I like keep it right here in the middle because I want a lot of that noise gone um, but I also want to preserve as many details as possible and contrast, it's kind of the same. It focuses on where like there's a lot of contrast in your images. So like edges, um, where there's little lines and stuff. So I bump that up. And then some of my favorite, um, one of my favorite sliders to use is this color uh, noise reduction slider. You can see by just rolling it up one little roll, it, it like boom, it's like totally different. It takes out so much of that, you know, that magenta kind of purpley blue. So roll that up one, maybe two to get rid of the rest of the kind of green. Let's roll it up one more just to see. And there it pretty much practically disappears. And um, the detail, it's about the same. I like to keep it around 50%. And then smoothness, you can um, kind of go around with that if you want it um, a little less smooth. Come all the way over here. And if you want it really smooth, bump it over to the 100%. So I usually kind of come down a little bit because I like to I do like to preserve those details so once you kind of have that done it's time to pop out and you can see that it looks really good if you think he looks a little bit you know your your subject looks a little more plastic you can come and roll um, the top slider down a little bit and maybe um, pump this up to preserve some more of the details just so he doesn't look that much like a little plastic doll and let me go ahead and do a before and after real quick and that was my before before. Um, I just did a quick uh, image edit using uh, Ambrosia and, um, and corrected for the white balance. And let me pull, pull over how I, right whenever I started doing the luminescence. So there it goes. So click into zoom. And you can really, really see the difference. Let, Kind of load up here. It's, my computer's gone a little bit slow today. There we go. So this was before we did any work in the noise reduction section, and here's our after. And you can tell it's really, really quite different. So I'll pop that out. Give you one more look that way. And let's go over. And I did a black and white one as well. Um, oops. Ah, there we go. 
So in the black and white you do pretty much just the same. Uh, just start at the top. I always zoom in first because you want to be able to see that detail. And you do have a little bit of a window preview pane. You can do that here too. You can pop it in and out. You, use your little hand where you want to zoom it in. Um, so start rolling up that top one. The detail, keep that about there. The contrast, I'll bump that up. And there's not a lot, there isn't really any color in this image since it's a black and white image, but you can play with that as well because it really does affect um, this, those gray areas. So play with that. Zoom back out to see what it looks like. And it's again night and day. So you can see the difference with these images just by using the noise reduction sliders here in Lightroom. These sliders are in every version of Lightroom, which is great. Um, they are so helpful and I love using them because I love shooting in low light. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions about using the noise reduction sliders in Lightroom, just let me know. Thanks guys.